Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Post Shocker, the 96 Hedgehog here, and we are here for the long awaited results. I was going to go ahead and hit the accept here. We are here for the CPL. Oh, I forgot to turn my music back on. We are here. There is no Iron Valiant. What? I'm sorry. What? There is no Iron Valiant on this team. Oh, shoot. I forgot what I was say. We can just wait on it. So there's no Iron Valiant. Wow. So he does choose to freeze a Hydreigon, which was one of his, if I think it's only his only Terra Captain. Decides to go Skeledurge, so I guess he was worried about the potential setup I did have. And no Corviknight brings Dawn Fan. Interesting. So I don't really need a Terra here. Oh, uh, wow. Ooh, this is actually bad. I think I'm going to leave with Elvis and have Violet Disguise... I think I'm going to have Violet Disguise as my Beetle. Oh, wait. No, I messed that up. Oh, well. So Claw comes in. Oh, I didn't even do my thing. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's your boy, Phil Shocker. That is the job with the CPL Draft uh, quarterfinals. Uh, we're here taking on uh, Giraffe Rig. Who actually was our week one opponent, believe it or not. So, the fact that we are rematching in the finals is actually quarterfinals for you. So, I do massive damage with double edge. There is no switching to double edge. There's also no switching to Brave Bird. Uh, I think I'm just going to Brave Bird here. No reason to overthink this. You have got to be Spadef. You have to switch. You have no choice but to switch. I think you're forced to go into Dawn Fan here. And if you go into Dawn Fan. How much am I doing to Dawn Fan? Wow, I 2 ko that thing. And how much does Ice Shard do to me? Ice Shard from an adamant Dawn Fan. We did 43 to 53. I can 2 ko that thing. That's awesome. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Brave Bird. I literally lose nothing clicking Brave Bird here. They can't go into Tauros. Yep, do 80%. They set up Toxic Spikes, which is fine. Again, I just click Brave Bird here. There's no reason not to just click it. Unfortunately, we put me in range of Ice Shard from Dawn Fan. Actually, I just realized something. Why would you set up Toxic Spikes when I have a Guts user? I just realized that. Why'd you do that? Slowbro ain't tanking this, buddy. Oh, of course we miss. And if that was physically defensive slow road, okay, so physically defensive slow road could have swallowed that. Oh. Hmm. So 
So I need to set up sunny days in order for my strat to work here. Okay. Let me think here. I really don't need Elvis, and I'd rather get damage off on anything, so I actually think I'll go for the Brave Bird again. And I get a crit. That's actually massive for us. We got a body press. Knock us out, that's fine. I think what I do is I go into Beetle. Well, let me look at C here. Into my Heracross. They would fear the bug move, right? Skeleturge. If it's Bedef, Stone Age with 2 at KO. But probably knowing them, they'll probably go Water Tauros. I could just go into my one thing and just click Hydro Steam, actually. Actually, yeah, I think I'm going to Robinson here. There's really no drawback to clicking the Dragon type move here. Slow, bro. If it's Fizz Death, bro, which I think it definitely is, my Walking Wake does 41 to 48%. And I believe I have made it to where my... Hmm. Do I make the risky play here? No, I don't think I do. I just click Dragon Pulse here. Kind of wish I ran Specs now. Definitely kind of wish I ran Specs now. Damn. Mmm. That also makes my Espothra set useless too now, actually. Oh, I'm gonna have to try to win this off with Grin and Zoroark, I think. Wow, I really did not expect T-Spikes when... So then comes Tauros. Okay, that's fine with me. So this 53. Okay, I guarantee kill this thing here, so I'm just gonna go for the Dragon Pulse here. Still don't have a switch into this. I could go for the sunny day here. I kind of do wish I went for the sunny day now, but again, that only would give me a special attack left, and that actually would give him a free turn to attack me. So. So that dirge must be physically defense, mostly physically defensive, because they didn't feel confident bringing that thing in on me. Um. They've got two choices here. I think you sack Tauros here because it gives you a free switch in for the uh, Hydreigon. I feel like that's. Why oh, you go Dirge? Why? Alright, so there's a couple of plays here. Now. They see that I'm leftover. I'm going to take the gamble here. I'm going to sub. Gotcha, bitch. Let's go. I could have just Dragon Pulse and killed it, but... I should have just Dragon Pulse, to be fair. Because now they're going to probably switch. And actually, Claude might live this hit now. Claude's Zyre. Yeah, Claude actually lives his hit now. I should have I should have just went for the attack. Oh, uh, I should have went for the attack. I want a Dragon Pulse here. Yeah, I should have went for the attack. 
When is Sunny Day, though? Just reveal my strat. Mm, I think not going for that Dragon Pulse might cost me the game right there. I really think that might have cost me the game. Yep. I, he's wasting his recovers. He really shouldn't waste those recovers. Because if I get a crit here... Why are you setting up hazards? You know I have a Guts Pokemon. I don't understand that. You're wasting your recovers. That's fine with me. Okay, dude, you're just wasting your recovers. That's so stupid. Okay, I, congratulations. Like, am I, am I supposed to be proud of you? Like. <sighs> I think this is just a free call mind here, right? Alright, Spathra, plus one, plus one, plus one, okay, come on computer, stop it. Uh, versus Skeletors, let's scout that damage we did earlier. Oh, I should have just Dragon Pulse, dude. Because we see that the Dragon Pulse would have done 36%. I would have killed it. Oh my god. Oh, I should have Dragon Pulse. I think that Dragon Pulse play is gonna is gonna cost me the game there. The Skeledurge lost 28% to my walking wake. Yeah, I think that Dragon Pulse play cost me. So that's about yeah, that's about to death. Yeah, I think that play is gonna I think that play is gonna cost me the game, guys. I really do think that play is gonna cost me the game. Oh, that's so unfortunate, but... Hey, man, it, it, it's what it is, you know? Like, it, it's what it is. I, I can't really help it, you know? Yeah, this Hex is still going to do more damage to me. So even if I go, like, plus 2, plus 2, I think this is going to be a 6-0 in quarterfinals, which... Uh, it sucks, but in all honesty, like, i kind of been wanting leagues to die down. For a while, so I'm honest to God okay with this. I don't know why you encored me. I could have just encored stored power. That actually would have helped me. I don't know why you did that, but all right. Uh, you're probably gonna go for hex. Well, in this, I uh, know you torch song. The Hydreigon is such an easy play here. I missed the Dark Pulse. No clothes and Claude, okay. Yeah. Honestly, guys, I really don't think there's any chance I win this game. If I was Guts on my hair across, it's a different story. Because then I think, with the amount of damage he is taking, because he's now at 72. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any chance I win. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any shot. No shot at this, guys. I, uh... Realistically think there's no shot to win this. If I wasn't specs on my Violet, I would have a lot more hope here, but... Yeah. I'm just gonna call mine here. And if they just go Skeletor, I'm just gonna spam Store Power till I die. I guess the unorthodox bring of not Valiant and Corby, I guess they were going to really predict me to be, like, super, like, hardcore prep for it. Uh, pays off, man. You know? 27%. 
Now this is where you go Hydreigon. So this is they know this is Zoroark. I'm just gonna risk it for the biscuit, man. If you're scarfed, you're scarfed. Yep, make the right play. Yeah, GG. This is more than likely gonna be damage, and I rather not see this go. And yeah, I'm just gonna forfeit the game, guys. There's there was realistically no point in me being able to win that game. If I could have made the play, which the play probably would have been to click Shadow Ball or Psychic, maybe have a shot, but Skeletors can just pretty much wall me. Um, there's just nothing out. I legitimately don't think there's any shot in me winning the game rare. Um, I don't know if I agree bringing Toxic Spikes versus my team when I do have a Guts Heracross. I, that I don't think I agree with, in my personal opinion. But, obviously, Giraffe Rig felt like they could take the chance with Guts Heracross. And, it looks like it paid off, paid off for them, you know? So, um, yeah. It just sucked that I basically had to wait to play this game just to lose to Stall. So, uh, yeah, that kind of sucks and it's stupid. But this, it honestly, God, was a tough matchup. But I did become more prepared for the Soul Bro, at least. I definitely think I could have had a fighting shot if I actually Dragon Pulse the Cloud Zire instead of going for the Substitute. Because if I Dragon Pulse Cloud Zire, I think I actually would have had a shot to win the game there. So, I don't take anything away from Giraffe Rick. He brought a strategy that I think was a little risky when I had a Guts Heracross. But the strategy paid off, and definitely me misplaying cost me the game. Um, Giraffe Rick did have to, he had to do what he did. I think he knows that you know doing stall was the was dirty, but if that was what he looked like, he needed to rely on having a potential win con in the back for it being stall. Then it is what it is, man. And like I said. I've been in so many leagues, you know, I'm starting to get that burnout feeling. I'm ready to just kind of take the break from it, you know. So, in the end of the day, I'm kind of just happy we made the playoffs. Um, This was also, again, like I said, a tough rematch for us because he just had a good matchup against us. And I think the things he picked up, I didn't put too much thought into a little bit there. And I guess maybe I really just overprepared for some certain things, possibly. Because I think he probably wanted to counter prep my team from last time. Which, pretty much, I think he just about did. Um, the miss, if we crit with that, um, what's his name, on that slow bro, on that turn we went for Brave Bird. Uh, we could have just went for Brave Bird again until we just died, which was really cool. Um, but I'm not going to take anything away. We had a really fun season. Walking Week was awesome. Um, Greninja was a great mon. I loved Greninja this season. Zoroark. Don't know really if I'm going to draft that again. I think I'm going to need a little bit more practice and playing with it a little bit. Um, everything else on the team was pretty great. I'm happy. I think I got to at least use everything more than one time. I think except for Magneton. But I got to use everything at least once, which was the first time ever I did that for my draft. So I'm very happy about that at least. And if some say that I'm salty and really bitter about forfeiting, just so you guys know, I forfeit the game just because I realistically had no shot up. If I wasn't specs on my thing, I would have kept fighting and at least trying to try to get either differential lowered or a win. Um, but at the end of the day, man, that's just how it goes. You know, I can't prep for everything. And 
I also can't make the plays when I need to make them. I definitely think the Dragon Pulse play is what cost us the game there. Because if I would have gotten Rev Clawed, I could have spam Hydro Steamed in that matchup then. At that point in time. And you only would have had the one layer of Toxic Spikes up. But, um, hey, it is what it is, man. Um, I'm happy, though, that we at least made the playoffs. And, you know, we had a pretty interesting team this season. And it was great. But uh, GG's to Draft Rig. Like I said, there's like, no, like bad feelings towards him he had a play to what he thought his out was and he had a little bit of strategy obviously saw he had the hex um he had i would imagine he had hex on uh skeletage and i guess he just felt like his bulk could really just stall me out and get toxic damage and if he got the opportunity to get spikes up to just whittle me down i guess i mean i don't think stall is one of the greatest ways to win games but it is a viable strategy so i'm not gonna knock him for it it's what he had to do but with that being said, thank you all so much for watching and enjoying the season.